So here I have some okra which I have washed it and everything. So we'll just cut this into pieces here. So we'll cut it into like small, not that small pieces, just um, I would say like four inches here. So there you go. So I'm just gonna cut all this and we'll start with the recipe. So I have chopped up all my okra here and we'll dry roast it um, just so that this lime is, is all gone. So I haven't put any oil or anything just in a sauce like a pan. I'm just dry roasting it. So you can use any kind of okra. So we'll roast it till for about I would say good 3 to 4 minutes. See it's changing color as well, and you can see the sliminess coming out. So I'll still roast it. sliminess is gone it looks really good so now we'll start the curry part for this one so we'll start with the recipe here so I will take two tablespoon of olive oil here so I've taken olive oil here so on medium heat, we'll just heat up the olive oil. So you can take about two to three teaspoons, depending how much you want. And then I'm going to put some mustard, cumin, fennel, curd seeds in there. Then I'm going to add my grounded ginger in there. Just stir everything together. My curry meat in there that I finally chopped. Stir it a little bit. Put a teaspoon and a half of curry powder here. One teaspoon of turmeric powder. And then I'm putting a teaspoon of chili powder. Chili powder is always how much you prefer. This one's not that hot, so I'm not putting, like, I put a little extra in there. So mix everything together. The okra goes in there that we had roasted before. Stir everything together here. Nicely till all the okra is covered in the masala and the spices and then we don't want to forget salt in here so I will add half a teaspoon of salt so salt again is according to your taste you can always cut down on it or add a little bit more so we'll let this cook on low medium flame for about a couple minutes so I'm mixing between so it doesn't get burnt or anything. So this is a low flame as I said. So I'm going to let it cook in the spices here. So while my okra is cooking, I have soaked some tamarind in here. So we'll take out all the juices of the tamarind. So it's nicely, all the spices have blended into the okra. So now I'm going to add the tamarind juice here. So we'll add two cups of water to this as well. So I've added the tamarind juice in here. And we will add water to this so i'm adding about two cups there we go and we'll let this cook slowly on medium flame 
I would say for about a good five minutes. You just close this and let it cook. You can also add tomato to this as well while you are cooking it in the spices. I didn't have tomatoes, so I'm doing it very simple today. So it's nicely cooking here in the gravy. So we'll let it cook for a little bit more till it becomes all thick. Okay, so it's all nicely cooked here. And the gravy is thick now. So we'll turn off the stove here. And then we'll add some cilantro for garnishing. And this can go really nice with rice or roti, whatever you prefer. So for me, I have taken rice here. And we will serve it with rice. There you go. It's all nicely done. Put a little bit more cilantro on top. There you go. So there you go. Uh, the okra curry is all done. And you can definitely try it out. Mmm. It's really tasty. So it's a new way of making okra. If you are bored of the usual, um, they call it okra pial, bindi do piazza, or any other ones that you try there. So do try this recipe and let me know how yours turned out. Enjoy this and do subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to do that. Till we meet next time. Bye for now.